Hello and uh, welcome. Um, many people have reached out to me and you know complained ab about how they've been scammed by scammers uh, who pretend to be selling uh, livestock, especially these imported goods. Now I want to I want to give you a few pieces of advice that will help you to um, overcome this. I always say, please, please, please verify. Verify who you are dealing with. Verify who you are talking with. Verify the authenticity of the offer that you are um, receiving. One of the very first things, one of the very first signs that will let you know that this person may be a scammer is price. If the price is too low, um, you know, too good to be true, it's almost not true, all right? If the price is too low, like you see someone advertising um, boa goat or Kalahari red goat for um, a few tens of thousands or even a hundred thousand, please be very careful. Be very, very careful. Now, one of the best ways of proving the authenticity of the person speaking to you, because many times they actually impersonate us. They impersonate um, the authentic ones. They use our pictures, they use pictures from our farms, sometimes they use our name. So one of the very best ways of proving if the person is authentic is request for a live video call. Request for a live video call so that you know who is on the other end of, of your conversation. And I want to tell you if the person is a scammer, they would most probably not accept for a live video call. I've had that so many times. You know, you ask for a live video call and they tell you, no, that they don't do that. Then most definitely that person is a scammer. The second thing I want you to request for is request for um, a live video call with the animals in their farm. All right. Like I'm standing here. These are my animals. All right. You can show that way. There are goats over, you know, in the other store. Um, and it's not a problem for me to show you the goats in our farm, all right? So, but if it's a scammer who doesn't have these goods, who only want to swindle you of your money, he doesn't have the goods and he wouldn't accept to show you the goods in his farm. And so please be very careful. Um, many people are complaining and we are doing everything we can to sensitize people so that they will not be um, um, you know, cheated or defrauded of their hard-earned money. Once again, my name is John Abraham Godson and I am the owner of Pilgrim Ranch. God bless you and see you again. Bye-bye.